Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing how I made this super potent Ayurveda herbal infused oil. I used it in one of my recent videos and two people asked for the recipe. So to start I went in with three tablespoons of hibiscus powder and I followed up with two tablespoons of bamboo powder then two tablespoons of Brin Raj powder followed by four tablespoons of Amla powder and then one tablespoon of Brahmi powder two tablespoons of Aritha powder two tablespoons of Neem powder two tablespoons of Ashwagandha four tablespoons of fenugreek powder one tablespoon of rosemary powder and when i got to the horsetail herb i just gave up measuring so i would say three to four tablespoons of horsetail then approximately one tablespoon of basil i will put all the benefits of the herbs that I'm using in the description box. One tablespoon of parsley, two tablespoons of sage and two tablespoons of cloves. I would advise that you blend your cloves if you want to use them and if you want to actually get the benefits out of them. So I am um, I went in with almond oil followed by Shebe powder infused castor oil. I was gifted this by Sunny Isle um, brand. Then I went in with the mango and lime castor oil. The amount I used is just based on how much of these oils I have left. I went in with grapeseed oil, I think I used the whole bottle, so this was 100 grams. Then followed up with some vitamin E oil. You just basically need to make sure that your oil covers all your herbs, that's all you need to do. I then followed up with some baobab oil, these are some of my more expensive oils. Zmenia oil is a bit like castor oil. It's really thick and it has awesome benefits. I'll put that in the description box. I then went in with some Moringa oil. And then I went in with two tablespoons of Moringa powder, followed up by some Amla oil. I then followed up with some olive oil. This is the, the most... I used of the oils because it's the cheapest and it's the one that I had um, a lot of and then I went back in with the mango and lime castor oil and put the whole thing in there <laughs> so here we are now that all the oils are in I am mixing up the oils and the herbs together so you don't have to use all these herbs that I've used, even if you just have one herb, that will do. I am actually obsessed with herbs and oils and butter, so I have loads of them. I spend a lot of money on them, so that's why I can use so many different ones. <laughs> and I actually have to use them or they will expire, so that's why I do this. So I then go in with some hot water just to make sure that the herbs are able to infuse into the oils. I just agitate the herbs and the oils together just to help the process of infusion. So I then went in with some more extra virgin olive oil. My hair loves olive oil by the way. If your hair loves olive oil, let me know in the comment section. It's really amazing for oil treatment. I just love how it feels. So later on, I added some nettle because I forgot to add that. So I added some nettle and I added some sapote oil as well. I then left this for eight weeks. I wanted this to be very potent. So I left it for as long as possible and I'd mix it every now and again. I put it in a dark, warm cupboard. 
So this is eight weeks later. And here are the, the herbs floated on top. So now I am going to use a cheesecloth to separate the oils from the herbs. Also, after a period of time, I stop mixing so that I can allow the oils to separate from the herbs. So as you can, as you saw before, the biggest herbs separated at the bottom and then the finest powders separated um, and laid on top and then there was the oils on top and then the herbs on top of the oil so that's what I do so that I don't get too much of the powders in my oil so what was left of the herbs I've used that I think three times and it still comes out just as potent um, I think I finally got rid of it, which I regret. I wish I could have used it as a paste or something, but it was hard because I had added fenugreek seeds and some other herbs, so it was hard to use as a gloss. So now I'm going to empty it into this 300ml bottle, which has a pump lid that I like to use. So the rest I keep and I add to different things that I am doing. I could add it to my other DIYs, uh, which I'm going to show you soon. So this is it all emptied into the bottle and I added ginger essential oil to it. And I usually use this to moisturize my hair when I am wearing twists. I use it as a hot oil treatment. Um, I use it sometimes as a sealant. So here I'm I'm showing you how I use it to to seal in my moisturizer after moisturizing my twists. So these twists were about two months old and I do this once a week or twice a week depending on how my hair and scalp feels. So I then poured the same oil into a smaller bottle with a pipette and added invigorating essential oils like peppermint, tea tree and then I use that as a scalp massage in between washes or just when I've just freshly twisted my hair I just use it as and when I need it. I also add it to some of my DIYs and this is my Ayurveda gloss bar that I add it to. This is my fenugreek and flaxseed paste that I added and my Ayurveda oil too as well. Let me know what are some of your favorite herbs and your favorite oils and whether you're still using oils in your hair or are you team no raw oils and butters? Let me know in the comment section. I am still very much a oil and butters kind of girl and I think I will always be. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.